Like most kids, I learned about Easter at Sunday school. Although it was never very tangible to me, I guess I kind of put it in the same category as my grandfather's old war stories. I knew they happened, but their existence to me personally lived only on paper or old movies. It never seemed quite real. As I got to my teens, I considered myself a Christian. And every year when Easter rolled around, we'd gather the family together and go see the church's Easter production. But that's as deep as it ever got. Getting older, there comes a point when life just hits the on switch. I remember this happening pretty quickly right out of college. When getting married young was a hard thing to do. Of course, I, I love my wife, but there were some struggles. You know, struggles grew into frustrations. Eventually, those frustrations grew into disappointments. It was tough. And having an unplanned child didn't make it easy. I started to experience anxieties that I never knew existed. Add in the mortgage, taxes, two car payments. I just didn't have time to feel insecure anymore. The weight of life has been unbearable at times. The pull from temptations just gets stronger and stronger. I might look composed, but the truth is, I'm afraid. I'm alone. I feel as though I'm the only one out there with these kind of issues. I mean, most Christians I know, they seem to have it all together. Why can't I? But here's the amazing thing about Easter. Christ's crucifixion and resurrection is everything I need. The absolute beauty in it is its simplicity. His acts weren't a spectacle. They were a sacrifice, a sacrifice for me. Easter is not just a holiday. It's a celebration of the life-changing power that exists because of God and his love for us. Purpose, freedom, peace, joy, hope, all these things Jesus intended for me when he made that sacrifice on the cross. All my failures, my anxieties, my sins and insecurities, they're all laid to rest. Christ's actions not only saved me, they completed me. He died for me.